by Out West wants to deliver. Of course, the acts and the artists, obviously, but if there are three hours where you don't want to see any bands, you can stroll away for 10 minutes and then you're in Gothenburg's best restaurant street and you're in the middle of a town. You don't have to, to mock about in mud, which you, of course, have to do on, on various other festivals and other locations. And the festival themselves are very, very concerned about the well-being of the audience and of, of us as well. We're very well taken care of. For this year, we moved on with our environment work and actually got a certification for the ISO 20121 sustainable event. And it's actually social responsibility and financial responsibility. We also work a lot with making sure the event is run properly and going through all suppliers and make sure we're as good as we can be for the future. In Sweden, we have quite rigorous restrictions. We have 100 dB LEQ and 115 dB peak and uh, there is actually a separate company hired just to measure and take care of any violations of this. And of course with a potent system like the Leos we can play as loud as we want basically but, but we don't need to because even up to the barriers on stage two will have total clarity without pushing the system at all. The clarity of the Leo on 120 meters is totally flabbergasting. It gives us opportunity to deliver what the artist really wants delivered. The system doesn't put anything in our way for that. It's a great step forward from previous models, I would say. It flies quick, it's, it's very exact. I'm very fond of the pullback possibility to make the array stay angled as you wish, no matter if you're tilting it upwards or downwards. So that, that's a very good thing. We provide all the staging, all the lighting, all the sound equipment. Of course, we did uh, all the transport for every all equipment to this festival with our own cars. So uh, yeah, we're sort of a one-stop shop. We're using 16 Leos aside with two micas as downfill. Then we have nine flown 1100 subs beside the Leo. Then we have four row end fire with the 700 HPs on the ground, and we have 12 Milos on the side as an outfill. A Galileo AS is the masterpiece in front of the house. And from that one we send the singles to four Callistos, two on each side. And one Callisto is doing the tops, and one Callisto is doing all the subs and the outlines and front fills. We start at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we have, have our main hangs and subs in three hours. To make a good field, that's always a bit tricky. It's great if all the people in the audience are having the same experience, those in the front or compared to the back. That's always the hardest thing. In my work, it's pretty much make sure the event gets as good as possible and as safe as possible. And that we also get the experience the audience expect. It's all from quality on sound and lights and how the festival is presented towards the audience. The festival needs to evolve. We like it to evolve. It needs to have its own life and it, we need new stuff every year. And even if it's small stuff, like sound-wise, that we don't have delay towers. Lighting-wise, that we use LED lights instead. And stuff like that is really important as well. And the audience unconsciously appreciate it. They don't know what is different, but there is something different that's hopefully possible. We've learned a lot these seven years and everyone working here does an amazing job and put in a lot of effort just for letting the audience get as good experience as they want.